Hi everyone. This is what I have left over after I re deconstruct and reconstruct all these sweatshirts. I have so many bands and I make little projects out of them and this really helps kind of defray the cost of some of my sweatshirts by being able to sell some accessories. I make these little headbands. Two different styles. This is the narrow one and then I make a little bit wider one. I'm kind of showing you the packaging here too. I like to keep them in these little packages when I take them to craft shows. It kind of keeps the dust out of them. It seems like people always come in with ice cream cones too. So this just helps keep them clean. I have a little size chart on the back of them. I do four different sizes of this band. The little um, the size on the front of it. And then the wider one, I have two different sizes of the wider band. And I'll show you all the sizes that I cut them at. This one is the wider one. I do two. The adult is cut at 19 inches and the youth at 17 inches. Surging across that shorter side first and then folding it on the natural fold. I like to add a little bit of a contrasting fabric to this, to this now. I just fold it underneath there making it a little bit tight and I'll take this to my regular sewing machine and just stitch that across. Trimming this up now, what's so nice is that this is a knit so I'm able to just turn this so that the wrong, raw side or the wrong side is in covering of that seam. And it just makes it real neat. Some of them I leave just like this and then some of them I go ahead and I decorate them with a little yo-yo. I'll link my video on how I make my yo-yos up on top so you can take a look at that. But I kind of picking out which ones I want here just kind of looking and seeing and I'm deciding I think yeah this is the one I decided on. And I just glue this on, with just a Lean's Tacky Glue. And here's a couple more samples of it too. These headbands are so nice because they're they stay they're very stable. They don't stretch out, nor do they slip. So I have customers coming back to get these because they're just such a nice weight. On to the, the narrower one now. I'm cutting these in half right along that natural fold seam. I'm cutting the bands in four different, I mean four different sizes. The infant is at 13 inch, the toddler at 15 inch, the youth at 17, and the adult at 18 inches. I'm surging across the narrow end there and then folding. and I'll surge this longer seam. This is a little template or little pattern I made. It measures about four inches long by two and a fourth inches wide and I cut these on the fold. I use two different colored prints and then just stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance and you, leaving a little gap there so I can turn it. Kind of clip in the corners so there's not so much bulk when I turn it and just getting my fingers in there, getting the right sides out and using my little pokey tool. Press it, giving this a good press and also folding down those those edges on that opening. This will go to my sewing machine now and I like to zigzag all the way around this and that will close up that opening. I love using just kind of funky colored threads here just using up odds and ends. I like the scrappy look and this just kind of gives, gives it just kind of a fun whimsical look to these little ties. And it's as simple as just tying it on. I do give it a little twist here 
so that both sides of the fabric show and then pulling it tight. And there you go, that's it. I also like making these little clips basically the same way with the same, the tie. And I tie those little, those little, um, the ties right underneath that clip in the same slip knot. And kind of use the same kind of packaging. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this fun little project. Have a great day. Bye.